guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be decoupaging some glass jars using this beautiful napkin. So let's get started. So I have my clean jars here and I'm going to use a cotton pad with some rubbing alcohol to remove any excess oils or label glue. If for some reason the label glue is very hard to remove, you can also use nail polish remover. Then I'm going to wipe it with some paper towel just to make sure there's no excess rubbing alcohol on the surface. So the next step is to cover the glass with some acrylic paint and my sponge applicator here. Even and light handed with my dabbing here. I taped the top lip of the jar here all the way around as I'll be giving it a second coat of acrylic paint. Again, the goal is to stay very even and light handed with the dabbing. Okay guys, so the bottles are all painted and dry. I had to give it about three coats because I was putting on the paint a little bit too thin. So next time I'll go a little bit thicker, heavier on the paint. In this case, I used only acrylic, but for the next time, I think I'll go with a layer of chalk paint, which covers a lot better. And therefore the top layer, I could just use one coat of acrylic. All right, so here I have the napkins that I'm going to be putting on the front of it. I prepared these already. I've already removed the edges here. I like it nice and jagged here. I saved one to show you. It had the original square there. So I'm gonna just dab a little bit of water on my fingertips, tap the edges here. You can use a, a paintbrush, but I want a little bit more control because I don't have a lot of edge to play with here. So I'm just, tapping it with a little bit of water on my fingertips and then just using my fingernails to pull it off here. And I'm just going in a little bit into this area right here, just to give it a little bit more definition. Naturally, when the napkin is wet, it's a little bit weaker, so just be really careful. I'm covering the area of the graphic that I want to keep and just ripping gently here. Now I'm going to just remove the back of the tissue paper and set aside that other piece and this is just the printed piece here. Now I'm going to position position it to where there's a little bit of joint here for the jar so I'm going to go in between the two joints right in the middle position it where I want it to go. Good so that looks good. So I am going to just apply some Mod Podge now with my flat brush. And I'm trying a couple different techniques. You could either put the Mod Podge here on the surface or just go over it because the Mod Podge is going to penetrate the napkin anyway. So I'm going to just try this technique and see how that works because sometimes if you put too much Mod Podge, it messes with the graphic. The napkin is very thin after all, so you don't want to overdo it. This way I don't have to necessarily give this a second coat of Mod Podge because at some point I will be varnishing it. I'm just 
just making sure that all the edges are nice and flat and then I'm going to take my crumpled plastic wrap here and just dab it to make sure everything is nice and smooth get any air bubbles out of there I don't want to drag on it too much because I don't want to tear it. And I'm doing from the inside, the middle, all the way to the outside. All right, that looks really good. I'm really happy with that so far. All right, so I'm going to allow this to dry while I work on the other ones. While that dries, I'm going to take a dry brush around the bottom edge here and around the top edge here. So I have my blending brush here and I'm just going to take a little bit of paint, dab it onto this plastic here and then I'm going to start shadowing here. And I'm just going beyond where the jar curves. finished up and we'll continue okay guys so I've shaded the top edge and the bottom edge of the jar looks really nice I'm going to remove the tape now I decided that I wanted the top lip of the jar here to be sort of this reddish color here so I'm going to mix up some red acrylic paint, some coral metallic tempera, and a little drop of gold metallic tempera, just to get this sort of reddish color. It's not a really strong red, and I do want it to sort of have a metallic look. I'm going to take a Q-tip and dab some dots onto this white part of the jar. Just putting them randomly. Mm -hmm. 